Rebecca is away today, so that only means one thing. Off to the strip club. (laughs) Ah, not quite. Anyway, uh, no, it's off to the uh, junkyard. And, uh, you know, the junkyard is hidden. She doesn't even know it's here. Uh, I have to get through this spiky thing. There's big spikes on this tree. Hard to show you, but uh, these things are nasty. Yeah, they stick right in you. Trying to find a good one to show. I don't think I can zoom in on them, though. Now look at these. It's just going to go in on the background, I think. But anyway, yeah, those are big spikes, believe me. They'll go right through you. They will rip right through you. There's a junkyard hiding back here. Oh, what do we got? We have wasps. There's wasps around here. The little wasps. Like baby wasps. And then big wasps. Welcome to Discovery Channel, where a man in Costa Rica builds a junkyard in his backyard and gets chased away by killer wasps on the next edition. (laughs) Okay. I don't know. It might happen. You never know. Oh, here's something you don't see in a junkyard every day. Look at this. There's a tree growing out of the front seat. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what caused it to grow in the front of the car. That makes driving a little difficult. Hmm, there's one growing between cars, but not in the front seat. Uh, Not much has gone on here, really. Uh, You know, I looked, there's a lot of leaves, dead leaves lying on them. We got some, I guess, weathering going on there. On the old Matchbox Lesneys, but overall... Oh, actually, look at that vet. That's in pretty bad shape. It has is that, that is like two years old, this thing. This is like a 2011 station wagon, I think. But in general, it does seem to be doing pretty good. Um, I'm out of here. It's starting to scare me, quite honestly. Back away slowly. Yep, safely back in the house after that crazy wasp incident. Doggy, where were you? You were supposed to be protecting me out there. Yeah, got to get away from those killer bees. Oh, uh, this, is, this is the purpose uh, that I'm doing this video. I've um, got a few things that I'm working on. The What's that called? The front running Fairmont? Yeah, uh, Ranger Rig and the Teetotaler. Uh, I'm going to do something with those. This Ranger rig was in terrible shape. Look, it just rusted out completely. So, I think I took the you know, before and after pictures. Uh, this thing is in a lot of pieces. The teetotaler comes in, and there's another piece somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, some things I'm working on. These two. This one was going to be some kind of blood splatter thing. Yeah, it didn't work out that much, but I'm going to put it together here. And I'll show some stuff at the end. And a Coke Zero car that I'm also working on. I was going to do it all in black, but then I made the uh, I made the decals uh, wrong and not big enough. I was going to do it on a truck. Uh, but anyway, that's what's there, so we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, I redid the uh, Iron Maiden van because uh, I didn't think the decals were big enough and I wanted to add something. I think I have some pictures of that that I'll show. The Costa Rican taxi, I did that a long time ago, but I redid it because all the Costa Rican taxis are dented up and smashed, so I wanted it to be realistic, so I put a bunch of dents in it. Demon, the Demon, got two uh, red lines. Yep, custom T-Bird, didn't have the gold version, so I got the gold version. And also the Demon, Uh, I don't think I had this color but I'll have to check because I haven't gone upstairs yet to check but uh, you know I got a couple red lines for cheap uh, some of the stuff I did finish was I uh, just you know was using some decals up on this car uh, same with the Mustang um, this Mustang I think it's turned out pretty good no decals or anything just changed the wheels painted this silver and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I do have some before and after pictures. I'm going to do something with these in the next week or so. Maybe even today, but I still got to print the decals. I got to uh, um, uh, clear coat them and all that stuff. Oh, by the way, I have... Who do I have things going to? Uh, Picker Nation, your thing is on the way. 
Also, James Shear, your decals are on the way. And uh, Wayne Spider, your decals. I sent them on July 29th. I was actually just looking over this uh, receipt that I got from the Costa Rican post office, and it does... Oh, that's for paint. That's not it. Okay, and then I also sent uh, Brad Wish on his, um, his decals today, too. So there's a few decals out there that are uh, on the way. Once again, Costa Rican post office. Maybe a couple weeks before you get them, but... They are all en route. Anyway, like I said, I'll uh, combine this up with a junkyard video and show some before and after shots. And, uh, well, that pretty much wraps it up. By the way, it's supposed to be rainy season. It's like 30 degrees here. Close to 100, whatever that is in Celsius. I should probably know since I'm Canadian, but I don't. It's a hot one today. It's a hot one. Got the fan blowing and everything. But, uh, whew, good day for uh, painting, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll go do these right now, actually.